Hey everybody, I uh, hope everybody's doing well. I just wanted to make a short video for you guys today. We're going to talk about a topic that we've talked about before. We've kind of used this tool for a lot of our projects we've done, but for something for you at home, just kind of do a little fun project. We're going to talk about this guy, the color wheel. Now, if you look at this color wheel, it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of information on here. This is the one that I use at home whenever I'm doing my own work. And if you flip this one over, it's got a lot more stuff on the back. It talks about the different families, points in different ways. I can twist things on here on the front, twist it on the back. There's a lot of information on this color wheel. We don't need this color wheel. So what I'm going to do is show you a quick, easy project for your own color wheel. I'll see you in a minute. So for this part of the video, what I want to show you is just how to draw and make your own very basic, simple color wheel. The corner of the video, you should be able to see a little color wheel, very simple one that you could kind of copy for your own. So with my blank piece of paper, I'm going to draw with a marker or whatever you have, pencil, doesn't matter, a circle. It doesn't be a perfect circle or anything like that. But what I'm going to do is find some tools that I can make some colors with, with markers or crayons or color sticks or oil pastels, whatever you might have at home. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find a marker. I've got a yellow one right here. And the very top, I'm going to start by just drawing a square. And I'm going to fill it in with yellow. Then right across from the yellow, I'm going to use the color purple. I found a purple crayon, so I'm going to draw another square. And I'm going to color it in. just like that. Then what I'm going to do is go right next to my yellow and I'm going to use orange. I found another orange marker. I took it from my kid's stash. Don't tell them. Then across from that orange, what I want to do is I'm going to find another color and that's going to be blue. So right over here, I'm going to take this big old blue marker and make a blue square and color it in. So I got yellow across from purple. I got orange across from blue. The last ones I'm gonna have to do are red and green. So right here, next to my yellow and blue, I'm gonna squeeze in a green square. I'm gonna color it in green. And then across from green, what's the last color I have to use? Well, that's gonna be red. So now if we look at our color wheel, we might start recognizing some things. We could recognize that we got our warm colors on this side. We got our cool colors on this side. We got our complements across from each other. Yellow and purple are complements. Orange and blue are complements. And red and green are complements. And for the next part of the video, I'm going to show in just a minute. This is kind of a fun little project that I've been seeing a lot on the internet, seeing a lot of videos about it. I thought it was a great idea to share with you guys as well. So when you're finished coloring your color wheel... I've got one more step for you. So go ahead and make your color wheel. I'll see you in just a moment. Hey, welcome back. Hopefully by now you've went ahead and colored your color wheel. Now the next step is for you to have like a little bit of a scavenger hunt. You're going to be have a chance to run throughout your house, wherever you live, and find different things that are of the color wheel. For instance, I ran around the house. I was able to find this little guy. And since he's mostly green, I could put him on the green square. I ran around the house a little bit more, found this little toy, this little droid. Since he's got blue and white, but he's mostly blue, I put him on the blue square. Ran around the house a little more, asked my kids for some help. One of my daughters found a purple ribbon to put on the purple square. Did a little more digging, found another Star Wars toy. It's got some red on it, so I could put him in the red square. Did some more running around the house, found this big orange Nerf bomb that I could put on the orange. And last but not least, my daughter found her favorite emoji earbuffs that I could put on yellow. So once you finish your color wheel, have a little scavenger, scavenger hunt at your house, run around the place, try to find some colors that you could put on your color wheel. Well guys, I hope you had a little bit of fun with it. 
art color wheel project we had today uh make sure you pick up after yourself don't leave a mess around the house put your stuff back where it belongs uh hope you had a little bit of fun with it until next time i'll see you guys later